Yep, I'm going to tell you exactly how to do that. So what's the most efficient way to revise? Well, if you're looking to study less and study smart, then trust me, go with this. So if you just go ahead and do whatever comes naturally, then trust me, you'll spend ages on it and you won't remember much when it comes to the exams either. But if you're actually taking this advice, it will feel a little bit harder at first, but you'll get so much more done in so much less time. And trust me, give self-quizzing a go. I've got a lot more detail how to revise in this playlist here. But the top three revision techniques are spaced, interleaved, retrieval practice. Give it a go. It'll be harder, but you'll spend a lot less time doing it and you'll remember much more. What's the most efficient and effective way to revise? What are you gonna get the most out for the least effort and least time putting in? In this short video, I'm gonna give you the top five. The first three will help build your memory and the last two will help you develop those higher order thinking skills. So for your memory, you want to do practice testing. That can be just recall practice, just simple self-quizzing really. You want to do space revision and all that means is just taking a bit of time in between each session and revisiting other topics and interleave practice, which means that you go between topics rather than focus on getting one topic done all in a one -er. And the last two, which will develop the higher order thinking skills are self-explanation, which is just when you talk yourself through a method or you explain something out loud to check your understanding and elaborate interrogation. And elaborate interrogation means that you justify why something is true or why something is false. And you will get lots of that type of practice by actually doing exam questions. In this playlist here, I've got loads more about the best revision techniques, and all of them are backed up by evidence. This was a request, it's how to effectively make use of exam paper questions for study. I say every single exam paper that you come across has basically three times whatever the length of that exam paper is worth of time studying it. The first thing to do is to prepare for that like it's a normal test, and then sit it in the exam conditions in that period of time and then mark it through with the mark scheme really carefully, being harsh on yourself, and that's quite important. If you didn't say exactly what it has in the mark scheme, then don't give yourself a mark. Learn to say what is on those mark schemes. And that will probably take you the same amount of time again. And then the last thing to do is to go to the examiner's reports. And you can only do that if they're exam series that were actually sat in a real exam series. But that is so valuable. Take your time, sit yourself down with a cup of tea and read through those examiner's comments and pay close attention to the things that other people did or didn't get right in that exam series. You'll learn so much from seeing the model answers, the ones that they think your answer should be like and by seeing the ones that are common errors that didn't quite get the mark. So always work through them in those three stages. Do it, mark it and read the examiner's reports. Loads more revision tips here in this playlist.